Hey guys! Welcome to the very last interactive concept presentation. Um, kind of excited to be done with this semester. <laughs> Had a good time, but I'm, I'm excited to wrap it up and move on to the next. Um, but for this last one, we're going to make some kinetic sand. Um, <clears throat> so I went out and I bought some pretty pink sand from the Hobby Lobby. Um, I have some cornstarch and a little bit of dish soap in some water. And I also have some vegetable oil because I thought I wanted to try one with the vegetable oil instead of the dish soap water um, concoction. I thought maybe it would be a better texture. Um, and since store-bought kinetic sand has silicon oil, I thought maybe vegetable oil would be a good substitute. Um, and I went through several, I kind of researched into it and found several different um, recipes and oil is one of the things used. So let's get started with this. All right, so I have two bowls of sand. I'm gonna use the water um, dish soap on this side, vegetable oil on this side. So, I'm gonna put a big scoop of, ooh, maybe that, that much, of the cornstarch. Most things I read said to do a 5-3-1 um, ratio. So five of the sand, three of the cornstarch, one of the um, soap, oil, whatever you're gonna use there. All right, I'm gonna mix those up good. I used to love playing with kinetic sand when I was a kid. We were po, so we didn't buy our own, but we gotta go on science field trips. We gotta play with it. <laughs> All right, corn starch is a teensy bit lumpy, so I'm just gonna mix that in a little bit better. So that's kind of what we got, a much lighter form of sand. <clears throat> mix this one up too. Hope everybody's having a good holiday so far. I decided I would be a crazy person and work my holiday. All of them. <laughs> it's all right, it's gonna pay off. All right. Sorry, this takes a minute. <laughs> I'm not trying to stall for time. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the oil water mix to this one. Just little bits at a time. Don't want to just get wet, gross sand. Ooh, might have gotten too much. So the way that um, this kinetic sand works is the oil or soap, whatever you use, coats the sand and it helps it make chains, polymer chains, so it's going to stick together. <clears throat> and hopefully make an interesting plaything. And it shouldn't really stick to anything but itself. Um, that's kind of the cool thing about it, unlike wet sand, um, which is just coated in water. And that's why I was kind of hesitant about this water dish soap combination because I know how wet sand is just nasty and sticks to everything. Um, so. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is my water dish soap kinetic sand. Um, it's still kind of crumbly. Definitely still sticking to me like wet sand. Don't love it. Wouldn't really play with that. <laughs> I'm going to try now with the um, oil. Just going to put a smidge in there. Okay. I have higher hopes for this. <clears throat> All right. The 
is already looking much, much better. Get a little bit more oil in that. Kitten sand everywhere. <laughs> Pink random sand. <clears throat> Should I went with white sand? <laughs> but definitely is getting a better consistency than the water soup mix, which I was not a huge fan of. It's gonna be a fun cleanup. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, that's a much better, still a little crumbly. I could still probably add some oil to it. But it does at least, it's moldable, a little dry. Like I said I could probably add some more oil to it, but I'm not going to add more right now, I don't believe. <clears throat> but this definitely isn't sticking to my hand, other than getting under my fingernails. It's not sticking to my hands like the water um, mix was, which is what I kind of expected to happen. Um, <clears throat> so water just choke blend, kinetic sand. One out of five stars would not recommend, it. but this sand worked pretty well um, with the oil, and I think it's really because it's probably more like commercial kinetic sand, <clears throat> and it just coats the sand a little bit better, so it can cling better. But that is easy homemade kinetic sand for all of your tactile enjoyment. <laughs> um, it's been a good semester. Wish you guys all the very very best. Merry Christmas.